Racers Marshall Pruitt. We're going to continue our series looking at IndyCar's 2024 hybrid system. This new energy recovery system nestled within the bell housings of the cars. The supercapacitor based energy storage and deployment system. Just got back from a super hot and humid Sebring where Team Penske, Team Chevy, and Will Power and Honda Performance Development, Chip Ganassi Racing, and Scott Dixon tested this new system, what we hope will be the final version. It'll go into mass production here for 2024 debut at the beginning of the season. So let's open with Scott Dixon. We're talking about vehicle performance. How is this different? We're adding some weight with this ERS unit, but we're also taking some away with some lighter componentry as well. So Dixon gives us a little bit of an insight about how the day went. Then we'll talk to Will Power next. Yeah, a lot of fun, you know, just trying to go through the motions. We started with a fair amount of short runs and then um, you know got into the longer stuff so you know full tank runs and everything seems to be working as planned still the parameters are kind of set uh, on the light side just to make sure that we get through the durability stuff but all in all pretty good man so now that we've had these cars on track with the energy system in place they're meant to make at the bottom end about 60 horsepower worth of a boost up to about 150 is what i'm told is the ceiling I don't think we're going to start in 2024 at the high end. I think it'll be closer to the low end. And that's what they were testing here at Sebring. So want to get a feeling from Will Power about what did he feel? What was it like behind the wheel getting that punch of electric horsepower added to the 700 plus from that 2.2 liter twin turbo V6 motor? Nice having that power out of the corner. Like it does, you, do, you feel it. You it, feel it. You certainly feel it. And that's only half about half of yeah. what we're going to be doing. So Because they're saying strategy-wise, yeah. at least right now for testing, maybe the first year. We don't know what the final number is going to be. But yeah. not going to go insane, but there's a pretty yeah. high ceiling we could get to. So yeah, yeah, great place yeah. to start. Yeah, they can, make it a, they can make it a pretty good package. Yeah, it actually really supplements this engine well. You know, because you got the turbo, with the turbos, you have a little bit of lag, I suppose. And, um, also, small displacement makes a lot very, of power from being small, very, but yes. you don't get a lot of instant yeah. torque from a motor without something like a hybrid here to yeah. fill in. And tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, the torque that we used to get when we were running the, the previous IndyCast, previous spec engine, the V8, is just miles above what this is. and always been the case because it was a bigger displacement engine it was different formula naturally aspirated as well so yeah they can for, for a small engine to add the hybrid part to it um, supplement it very well and we close with power talking about reverse torque what is that it's engine braking off throttle what does the motor do in terms of helping to decelerate the car but now that we have this energy recovery system the motor generator unit in that bell housing when they're harvesting under braking that's adding additional reverse torque to help not only slow the car but turn the car as well so we're going to hear power talk about reverse torque and just adds another layer to the performance of what this ERS system is able to give to the car, not only the punch off the corners, but also the handling coming into and out of those turns. What is it like? Do you yeah. feel this big boost when you're yeah. regenerating? Does the back of the car stop? What are you feeling mm. in the car that's different than what you just drove a couple days ago at Indianapolis? Uh, yeah, you certainly can get to a level of regen where it actually does help the balance of the car. Because mm. this, this, like you think about these engines have you know, probably 30 horsepower reverse torque. When I was racing Champ Car, it was over 100 horsepower reverse torque. So that was a very, you know, powerful balance tool, you could say, going into a corner. Um, help rotate under it deceleration. Does, it does help rotate under deceleration. So yeah, that's um, something that, that that can be very good for as well. You're helping into the corner and you're, you're getting help out of the corner. So. There are a lot of good things you can do with this. Just depends how open the rules will be, and um, like, I feel like they should exploit it as much as they can, get the most out of the hybrid. Because that's what it's there for. You also said a set of tires were getting a little long in the tooth, and all yeah. of a sudden you've got wheel spin galore, and you're having to catch yeah. the thing. Like that brings a smile to my face. When you're having that much torque down low, yes, you're probably going to um, be struggling with wheel spin and so on, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting to see see what we can get out of this thing. I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be really good. These guys are made to deal with monsters like this. This is everything we've been hoping for. 